If you've been following me for a while, you've probably noticed that I sell a lot of vintage microphones every month. If you're new to vintage microphones or you've never owned one in the past, you may have asked yourself, why does everybody love these microphones so much? In the 1950s and 60s, the broadcasting industry was at its peak and some of the top engineers in the world were designing microphones. Today, when we look at ribbon microphones, there are some differences in quality and I have two examples to show you. First is an Octava ML16 from the 1960s and second is a modern Nady RSM2. When we look inside the ML16, we have cast Alnico magnets and a hand-wound transformer. When we look inside the Nady, we have block style neodymium magnets and a factory wound transformer. Both of these microphones are typical for their time periods. We're gonna to listen to them on acoustic. After listening back, I don't think the Nady sounds bad, but I do think the ML16 adds an extra layer of depth and character, which is what vintage microphones are so great at offering. Hopefully this video was helpful in pointing out the differences.